Hey, good morning and hey, howdy. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Today we're talking about Zinsco. I have a lot of people ask me, it's like, I've got a Zinsco panel. Is that okay? And here's why. Let me, the, the preface, the backstory is a lot of times you'll have an electrician out maybe or, or a company that's super salesy and you're like, this guy says I should replace my panel and I'm gonna die in my sleep because of it and it feels a little manipulative. Well, it's a lot manipulative. But today I wanna to talk to you bottom line and show you why you probably should replace your Zinsco. But I want you to understand as the homeowner, why? You need to understand that. I don't want you just to say, oh, I'll spend you know, a bazillion dollars because some guy with a tool belt told me to. I'm a guy with a tool belt, I don't like that. So follow along. Here we have a Zinsco that we've replaced. Um, so a couple of things it boils down to. You can always tell whether or not you have a Zinsco because usually you have a super colorful breakers and typically, not always, they're typically installed so the breakers are running horizontally. Okay, back and forth. Here's your main breaker. So with the Zinsco, our, our main and burning issue, why this makes this, you know, a child of the 70s and you know, like the gremlin car um, that you don't want is the bussing, okay? So the bussing are these two bars right here. If you wanna get in close, let me get you on this. this. These two bars run the whole length of the panel up to the main breaker that feeds power in. The problem with these, if you look at them, this aluminum that they designed it with is super soft. It doesn't have a hard finish or coating. And so it scratches and arcs Actually, there's a beginning right there. You see this looks like a little, little black smudge. That's arcing. So that's part of the problem. The other side of that same problem coin is the way the breakers snap on. If you look at these clips, you look at this, this is just a tension clip. There's no real positive connection here if you look at it. So if the bussing is pitted at all and these clips are sprung or loose, you have this cycle of arcing where I've pulled these out and this whole bottom section is burned away, okay? And then the bussing here ends up being pitted and you can't use that anymore, okay? That's really the, the whole issue. The fact that it's you know, a 50, 60 year old panel, well that's, that's its own issue. But the design flaw for you to understand as a homeowner is the way the breakers connect to get power out of the panel and put it out into your house is flawed, okay? It's not positive. That's, that's your bottom line. There's a bunch more information and history out there, but for me to you as a homeowner, this is what I'd want to know. This is the bottom line, okay? So you may still say, okay, that seems still a little abstract. Let me compare it to one of my favorite panels. Certainly not the only one, but let me show you this. This is a square DQO I've talked about before. Come on over here. So here's first the bussing. Again, the issue a lot of times with any of these is going to be the way the breaker connects to the bus, okay? So square D, the QO has um, tin-plated copper. So the outside you have this, some, uh, some tin, but underneath the skeleton of the stuff, of the busing, is copper. Super hard uh, compared to at least the pot aluminum. And the other part of this, let's talk about the way the breakers connect. So if you look here, this QO breaker these, these two legs or clips are tight and they snap around this flat bus so that goes in like this. So they're a lot harder to put in and a lot harder to take out. So let me push these in, bear with me for a second. Hopefully I won't do myself a harm. This is really awkward. Don't do that at home. All right, but that connection is so soft. If you go over here, look at that. That's in there, but that's, look, look at all the movement. Look at here, solid. So the other thing is the QO panel has in it a lifetime warranty. Now it's not the only panel like that, but I'm telling you is this is your, your point of difference, your delta here. Soft aluminum, sort of compromised connections with these clips to connect to the soft aluminum versus almost a lot of new panels where you have copper, tin plated copper, or brass with super positive connection. And once you do that, this part of your electrical system 
pretty much is bulletproof. Okay, so that's that's the bottom line. If you have again your 70s, again I always compare it to like a Vega or a Gremlin. If you were around driving in the 70s, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, there were cars that gave you fond memories, but you kind of are glad are gone. This, and, and by point of reference, the Federal Pacific's the same way. They're children of the late 60s and the 70s. Uh, kind of was a mistake. So for you as a homeowner, if you've got a form of uh, Zinsco here, uh, the other brand name is the same exact guts. It'll be called Sylvania, Sylvania or Zinsco. If you have either of these, I would just start collecting up some quotes, get two or three at least, and then start saving, okay? Um, will it still work? It, it is, but for most things like your water heater, you can save for it and do it when you choose to do it, or you can do it on an emergency and place, pay somebody overtime when it happens when it's inconvenient. Um, I've done it both ways, to be honest, and uh, kind of wish I did it all by planning. Uh, I had a water heater go out on Thanksgiving once, the day before, with uh, 30 people in my house, and had the water heater blow up out of the top. Uh, and if I'm super honest, it was already starting to leak, and I just thought, oh, we'll be okay for another couple of months. Yeah, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. If you've got one of these, plan to change it, get some quotes, um, and then budget for it and do it on your terms. All right? Thanks for joining us today. Again, what's wrong with uh, the Zinsco panel? Now you know, and no one's half the battle. G.I. Joe. Take care.